Hi, thanks for watching RTC on Channel 4. I'm Alec Garrick here with Brant Edgerson, and this is this week's sports report. All right, we'll start off with last Tuesday. The cross-country team went to North Miami for an invite, and the boys and girls both won the whole invitational. And Sarah Birch and Anna Barris both crossed the line together, finishing first and second in the girls' race. And Austin Kimball, Brandon Camp, Leslie Meyer, and Nick Scheidler all finished fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh in the boys' race. And also the boys' tennis team was in action at, at LaVille. Is it here? Yeah. No, it was at LaVille. Okay. At LaVille, they beat them 5-0 to zero in straight sets and only lost 16 games combined, which is really good. And the boys' soccer team also went to LaVille. And their final score was 2-2. Two to two. They tied on a Zach DeVoyce goal with 23 seconds left in the game. On Wednesday, the boys' tennis team was at home with McConaughey, and they won 3-2, improving their record to 3-0 in the season. And the girls' soccer team lost to Whitco 5-1, and Lexi Holland scored the only goal with a Hannah King assist. And on Thursday, the girls' golf team defeated Wabash. Their final score was 171 to Wabash's 196. And Carson and Covenant were both co-medalists with 36 each. Wow. And the volleyball team defeated Lavelle in three sets. The scores for that were 25-15, 25-14, and 25-9, improving their record to 6-0. Football team traveled to Plymouth on Friday to take on the Rockies. They made it halfway through the third quarter before Lightning stopped the game, and eventually it resulted in a 35-0 loss, and the Zebras did not finish the game on Saturday. And on Saturday, both the boys and the girls cross country teams finished sixth at the Western Invitational. Anna Barris finished third among all individuals. And that's it for this week's RHS Sports Report. I'm Al Garrick here with Brandon Anderson and thanks for watching RTC on Channel 4.